Hello everybody. All of you are welcome in English class. Today we are going to discuss about a poem Solitude that is written by Ella Wheeler Wilcox. Okay, let me give you very short introduction about the writer. Okay, she is Ella Wheeler Wilcox was born in 1850 and died in 1990. She is an American poet and the author. Her main works are Poems of Passion, Solitude, this poem which we are going to discuss today and the worlds and I. These are the main works written by Ella Wheeler Wilcox. Okay, this is the poem written by her. It goes like that, laugh and the world laugh with you. Weep and you weep alone. Okay, it goes like that. Please read the poem yourself. I'm not gonna read the poem. You have to read it yourself. Let me go to the interpretation part, background part of the poem. Okay. Now let's see. Let's go to the background of the poem. This poem, Solitude, is one of the most famous poem of her creation. It was composed in such a situation, let me tell you the background, while she was traveling to Madison on the way. On the way, she met a young woman who was dressed in black. It was the time of morning she was in pain misery okay sadness as she was crying and the poet tried to comfort her console her the poet was so unhappy to see her miserable condition her tragic situation and when she came back home she looked into the mirror while looking into the mirror you know she resemble she suddenly recall the miserable woman whom she comfort while traveling at that situation at such a circumstances she has composed that poem that was the background okay let's see this poem solitude suggests the people to celebrate the life of joy and happiness because misery creates only loneliness we need to live the life of happiness and we should try your best to avoid misery it has expresses the common human psychology this poem expresses the common human psychology usually people have the habit to like happiness rather than misery the participation of the people is more in comfort and success, not in pain and cry. If you are in trouble and difficult situation, most of the group, you know, they like to avoid you, but only special can support you in that difficult situation. If you are in comfort, happiness, joy, you know, obviously the crowd, the people gather together. That's why she suggests laugh world would laugh with you that's why you try to laugh weep if you want to you you would be alone in the weeping situation tragic situation you know many people do not support you the art should bring happiness but it is full of misery she says it means there should be happiness pleasure comfort ecstasy in the world but unfortunately, the world is full of sadness, misery, and the tragic situation. If you sing up the song of happiness, there would be the sound, echo sound, as he will answer. If you sigh of the sadness that would lust in that goes to only the narrow area. If you are enjoy that spread that's it spread if you are in the panic situation that does not spread 
that shrink. Rejoice. If you rejoice, men will seek you. Men start searching you in your comfortable situation. If you are in grief and pain and tragic situation, they will leave you. And if you are glad, you of course would have many friends. If you are in sad or the tragic situation, you would miss them. They would not enjoy living with you. Okay, if you keep a feast in the festive situation, many people come and enjoy. But if you have the circumstances of the fasting, no one like to join you. And finally, what she suggests is that we cannot stop the death. We cannot stop the death. Our death is inevitable. One by one, we have to go. That is absolutely that is absolutely you know necessary and that is absolute truth that is inhabitable no one can stop death but whenever we live while living at least we need to enjoy the life of comfort happiness and joy that's what she suggests okay that is a sort of poem consoling People not to be sad. One day we have to leave the earth. We have to depart from the earth. We are just the player, okay, to play the role on the earth as Shakespeare has told. When and the performance is finished, we have to leave the stage. That's why whenever we are here on earth, try your best to be happy, to be comfortable, to always enjoy your life that's what he, she suggests thank you thank you very much for your watching thank you